Hi Collectives, welcome back. I had to regroup myself a little bit and cleanse my energy after the last read. I picked up on some stuff, guys, that I was guided to not reveal. It's not very often that I'll do that. I'm shocked. As a collective energy, I'm not talking about your particular case. I'm not talking about your particular situation, guys. Uh, we're talking in generality, overall collective energy, that what's going on behind the scenes. It's a good day to get right with God, I can tell you that. Thank you guys for your support. Just bear with me when I get like that. I mean, there's nobody probably more shocked at this stuff that's coming out than myself. I mean, guys, I live pretty isolated, okay? I don't watch the news. I, I do not watch the news. So to me, it's like when spirit reveals that kind of stuff to me, it's like I feel like I've been in a time warp. <laughs> I've been kept in isolation, pretty much. And when things like that are revealed to me, I'm in utter uh, shock sometimes. So just bear with me if I seem distant, because that's... Wow, I'm blown away. It's really important to remain strong. It's really important to stay in tune with your guides. It truly is. It's, I'm kind of grateful I'm not out there. Just saying. You're actually being protected, collective. Whether you know it or not, I know that you guys have been hurt. Like, I know that you guys have been... Betrayed, I know you've been hurt. But trust me when I tell you it was for your higher good. It's like, you know how Spirit says in the Bible, they will separate the... the my mind keeps going separating the flock hmm Because you're open. It's because you're open hearted. It's because you're open. I don't want to open. I don't want to open up to that energy. I just got to say. I don't. I just don't. Like. How am I going to say this without. <laughs> piss off. How about that? Piss off, Garmix. Look. It's almost like 
people doing things, guys, to get a response, to get a reaction out of you. It's like to provoke. It's like to antagonize. Those are the tricks of the enemy. That's why sometimes I won't reveal certain things. Like, I'll reveal certain things as I'm told to reveal them. Like, I've got no issue with revealing things that are warnings to the collective, things that the collective is um what's the word entitled to know but there are certain things as like a reader certain things come out and reads that you have to weigh out you have to make a choice about and right now i know that many of you are very vulnerable very open I'm being antagonized right now by some energies, guys, so bear with me. My spirit guides are on it. But I can tell you that they're trying to confuse my words, as you can tell with my speech. They're trying to, like, they want me to say something, but my guides keep disallowing it. So, for that reason, I'm struggling. Like, these energies want me to say it, but spirits like, no, the collective energy does not need to be exposed to that, if you get what I mean. So, I'm struggling here, so bear with me, because spirits say no, and these energies are trying to get me to say what they want me to say, and I'm not going to say it. So... It's because they want to get a reaction out of you. You, They want to, me to give this message to you, these negative energies, and it's not because the negative energies are here. It's because it's in the collective energy. They're not around me, but it's definitely around the collective energy. They're not allowed around me. Spirit would never allow it to begin with. But it is in the collective energies. So a lot of these energies are why your people. See? Hang on. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let me regroup. I'm going to pause this video. Okay. I've got to go to my spirit guides. I've got to pray right now. Hang on. Okay, guys, sorry for that short delay. But when I get, when I feel these energies, I have to go right to my spirit guides, claim authority over the reeds. Okay, so that's what I have done. These energies are messing with your people, and that's what they don't want me to tell you. These are dark energies that are messing with the people that are around you. Not so much your energy. I know you've been hurt and betrayed, but who sent those energies is what you need to be concerned with. Not so much your people. I know they hurt you, but they're being used. They're being used. Who is behind those energies is what you need to be concerned with. And why you need to keep your protection up and keep your vibrations high. And under, see, <clears throat> and understand these people are using your people as pawns, these entities, these energies are using your people as pawns likely to destroy them, but actually to get to you because you are of the light. So it's incredibly important for you to remain with your spirit guides. Because there, look, I just pulled 
on all these energies, destruction, snake, deception, reactive energies, um, energy vampires, people wearing false masks, very vulgar people, very people who, you know, want you to worry, who want you to be reactive, who want you to respond, who want you to be wild, who want you to be crazy and want you to be like them. That's basically what it is. It's like temptation, you know what I mean? And if they can't get to you, then they want a response from you, which is why I don't respond to those energies. I really have to stay in tune with my guides, and it's the same with you. You're going to have to really stay in tune with your guides. I don't know why the energies are, they're increasing, guys. That's why. Yeah, these karmics hate that you got something going on. Your person is being open and they're saying why there's all this energy here. It's because the karmics hate what you're going on. Now, if your person is a karmic, that includes them. It's like tag teaming to come against someone of the light. If your person fell into karmic energy, right now they are your enemy. And a lot of you don't want to hear that because you love these people. I'm no different. I have love for people, but not when they're in devil energy, I do not. I would consider those people my enemy if they're in karmic energy. Now, a lot of people will disagree with me. But spirit is clear when spirit says, test the spirits first and then trust. If they have proven to you that they're not trustworthy of your light, trustworthy of your openness, your vulnerability, be cautious. This is, person is saying that the karmic is making their life a living hell. And I believe it with all these energies that have come out. Reactive, reckless, vulgar, destructive, energy vampires, treacherous. Hmm. Wild, rebellious, what the heck are you doing with this? Contradicting. So, look, I'm going to be real. A lot of these karmic energies pose as religious peoples and they're not they're posers you will know if i'm talking about your person and you will know if i'm talking about the energies that are around them i cannot decipher that for you you know who i'm talking about some of you persons have fallen into karmic energy. They have become the karmics. And they will wage war against you. Some of you, it's not your person so much as the people and the company that they keep. So it's up to you to decipher that. But I'm telling you, 
they are making this person's life a living hell. But you have to understand because, like, I've been hearing, oh, these people for years now. I've been hearing these people are going to come back. These people are going to do this. These people are going to do that. Now, it's true. Some of them are. Yes. The strong ones will. Yep. I have no doubt in my mind. Doesn't mean you're going to take them back, but they're going to free themselves from that devil energy. And I mean, when the devil plays, that that is that attachment. Some of those karmic relationships are incredibly, incredibly hard to break those ties. I mean, it's the devil. They don't want to release. They don't want to let go. They're saying that they're leaving. So some of them will. And some of them are not. Are not. Their friends are covering up for them. Okay? I don't care about that. The karmic this, the karmic that. That's childish. They are talking about you. And the karmics then, when this energy tries to break free of them, they pull back on all their weaknesses, such as rumors. They don't want to be talked about. This is a real test of ego. When you don't care what people say about you, when you don't care what people think about you, you know you're strong. This person is like, I can tell they're not strong simply because of what they're saying. They're spreading rumors about me. They're causing my life to be a living hell, blah, blah, blah. So they're all wrapped up in it. And all of that energy keeps them bound. When you don't care what people say about you, when you don't care what people think about you, you break free from the chains. This person has got their friends covering for them. This person is like they're spreading rumors and gossip about me. They are making my life a living hell and I believe it. They're telling the truth. See, and now they try to act all spiritual like you. It's a deception. So it makes this person think, oh, maybe they are going to change. Oh, maybe they are. You know what I'm saying? It's tricks, tricks, tricks. And what I don't admire about your person is that they're faking that they're happy. They're faking because they worry that this person's going to spread rumors and gossip about them and make their life a living hell and be this... Why? They're doing it anyway. Now, they got a lot of people who are telling them that they're using them for money and the people around them are letting them know that these karmics are. Some of them want to see their downfall, want to see them get used, to secretly want to see your person get taken down. But a lot of concerned people around them, people who actually do care about them, are telling them to go back to you.
It makes this person cringe. They regret ever meeting this person. And they don't, they're not feeling sexual about them. They're losing that passion for them, that lust energy that is wearing off. So the karmics are pulling on other energies, such as blackmail, such as rumors, such as gossip. I'll ruin your finances. I'll keep the kids from you. I'll do this. I'll do that. They don't trust the karmic, I can tell. They do not trust the karmic. They don't trust the karmic with you and your energy, and they don't trust them around their own energy. So they fake that they're happy. But this person fails to recognize, like I said, what is really going on behind that energy. Like everybody thinks people are just out there being jealous and greedy and all that. And yes, they are. But what is really behind that energy is who you're dealing with. These people are all being used as pawns. And it would seem like the ultimate goal is to destroy people of the light, okay? Namely you. Like I'm not talking, uh, I have karmics on this channel and I am not talking about anybody who just needs to learn a lesson. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I am talking about really dark energies. I'm not just talking about someone who's in some kind of love triangle. I am talking about really dark energies. They do not trust this karmic. They do not. They're fighting and arguing, doing a lot of self-medicating, drinking, rowing. They don't trust one another. And this is their karma. They are stressed out. Yeah, they are. Well, they are telling the truth about that. Feeling very defensive. Their life is going through a living hell right now. There's a lot of anger, frustration, a lot of rumors and gossip. The people around them, certain family members, certain people around them are telling them to restart things with you because this person was so they you're an angel compared to what this karmic energy is okay you had this person's best interest at heart 
You actually cared. They, they view you as an angel compared to this karmic. There's someone in their family who deeply admires you, respects you, who thinks you're like an angel compared to this devil energy. And they're giving them shit. This person in particular is giving them shit for how they treated you. Giving them shit. Now, it's a, someone they consider as family. It could be a friend. But someone they're close to is giving them hell. Why they aren't with you? This person was so happy when they were with you. And now they're going through all this trouble, chaos, their misery. Control, defeated, hurt, wounded, heartbroken. Immature, so it's for money. They're being used for money. They say that they're going to end it. And they want to come work on things with you. They're being judged heavily. They're being played and used for their money. Okay? This karmic does not care if they cheat even as long as they get this money. So someone around them is telling them to reconcile with you, talk to you. You were very loving, warm, and nurturing. And they're hoping and praying that this person sees through this illusion, can get out of whatever situation they got themselves into. They're worried about this person. They know that they're being trapped. But they're scared to come toward you, even though they love you, because, see, this is honor and respect. But they're worried about this damn ass karmic doing something to you, affecting your life, your family, your situation. So they're really caught in a catch-22, okay? They got themselves in this situation and they can damn well get themselves out of it stand up and take a leadership role okay but this is a greedy contract they're being manipulated for their money there could be a child or children involved which is what they're worried about they're worried that they may lose custody or visitation, they may lose a child over this process if they were to come toward you. They're going to have to go to court. They're going to have to fight in court, and they're just going to have to do what it takes. But guys, know that they are not happy where they are. It's a life of misery. The people who really know this person 
are telling him to come back to you. You're like an angel compared to who they're with. There is someone who this person is really close with, really tight with, who is trying to give them good, sound advice, who is trying to make sense to this person. They've got everybody covering for them. They've got their friends covering for them. They've got other people covering for them. This person is their worst own enemy. They gotta get out of their own way. I'm sorry, but they do. And until they learn to deal responsibly with the problem that they got themselves into, there's no point to them coming toward you. Absolutely none. Because they would bring all that to your plate. So by the sounds of things, this person has a current karmic and they have a prior karmic. And like I said, not all of these karmics are dark entities and all that. They just have to learn a lesson. But some of them are incredibly dark. I don't like their energy. Let me ask. Pretty much. That's the end of the story. That's what they're going to make a choice about. Angels or demons? Do I listen to the devil or do I listen? It's like this person has got one on each shoulder. Who do I listen to? I think that to be real this person unless they take control of their own life and unless they take control of their own destiny they're going to spend the rest of their lives doing this and some will get out of it some will break the chains and they will get out of it some already have some are in the process of doing it, and some will never do it. Let's see what words spirit wants to reveal. Collective. L R E. D I T A R H S F 
blank. Y T O. These might be some of the initials of the people I just have been reading for, either your initials or theirs. R E Sheriff Sherry Shay I don't know guys that might be some of the initials like what I'm saying is that that's why spirits telling you to choose yourself for now to have enough integrity and self-worth for yourself because you do not want this energy keeping you stuck they got themselves stuck, they can get themselves unstuck. You can pray for these people if you so feel inclined. Your prayers will help. Messages. They do love you. Okay? They do miss you. They are lonely without you. But they don't trust making an offer because they know there's they're still bullshit going on. If they came toward you now, it would be foolish because they would just keep you stuck again. Because they're still in some kind of... They daydream about you, they imagine you, but this karmic's on their ass, man. They got to get their karma first. So in some cases, they have a current karmic and they have an ex-karmic. And they're worried. They're self-medicating. Oh, they're going through a bunch. People at work are talking about them. This, whoever this ex karmic is of theirs, they're making their life a living hell. And if they're currently with somebody, they're not much better. They're being used for their money. So it's on them. It's not your rodeo. It is on them to do what they need to do. Like grow up.
They're being manipulated. I'm telling you. Because of a child. They think they're the father of a child. They're, they're not sure. But they're scared to go to court. Or something. Why? I don't know. They gotta suffer an ego death. I'm sorry, they do. It's the only way some of these are getting out of that energy. They have to suffer an ego death. Look, to be real with you, this karmic is playing games with them and manipulating them, but they're doing the same. They're not innocent. And until they change their ways, there's absolutely nothing the universe can do about it. It's wise you just keep moving on doing you. I would be the last person to tell anyone to wait. You're not supposed to wait. You're supposed to live your life and enjoy your life. Not wait around for somebody else to change. Spirit don't expect you to. And you shouldn't expect that from yourself. Go on living your life. Live your best life. If they come, they come. If they don't, they don't. Take care.